Jinping Singapore, controlled by Malaysian billionaire Lim Kok Tai, is investing 400 million Singapore dollars, 298 million dollars, this year to revamp its casino resort and theme park in the Lion City, preparing the property for a post-pandemic tourism recovery. The current lull period from the pandemic presents us a why. The company said its three hotels, with over one, 200 rooms at Resort World Sentosa will undertake progressive renovation works from the second quarter onwards through 2023. While the company said full year 2021 net profit doubled to 183 million Singapore dollars compared to the previous year, earnings were weaker in the second half due to a renewed spike in COVID-19 infections. Jinping's rival Marina Bay Sands, which recently reported improved earnings at its Singapore casino, is also upgrading the iconic property in the central business district with a $1 billion makeover. Apart from the hotel revamp, Jinping said it is also expanding its Universal Studios Singapore theme park, with the construction of new attractions such as Minion Land and Singapore Oceanarium, which will be three times bigger than the current Southeast Asia Aquarium. The company had last year bought additional plots of leasehold land from the Singapore government to facilitate the project. As we anticipate a gradual return of visitors from our traditional markets over the next two years, we remain resilient and continue to harness opportunities to refresh and be. Across the causeway, Jinting Malaysia had earlier this month reopened its upgraded theme park on Jinting Highlands, about an hour's drive north of the Malaysian capital of Kuala Lumpur. Built on the site of over 100, 000 square meters atop a mountain that's more than 1, 800 meters above sea level, Jinting Sky Worlds, which was redeveloped at a cost of $800 million, offers tourists 26 adventure and movie-inspired rides and attractions. The revamp of Jinting Highlands and Resorts World Sentosa is among the bright spots for Jinting Singapore Chairman Lim, who stepped down last month as Chairman and CEO of Jinting Hong Kong after the cash-strapped cruise ship operator filed to wind up the company. The resignation came just two weeks after Jinting Hong Kong's German shipyard Unitam B. Warfen went into insolvency. The pandemic has upended the tourism industry as governments around the world implemented lockdowns and restricted travel to contain the spread of the virus. While there are early signs of a recovery and pent-up demand in the leisure travel market, uncertainties prevail as governments around the world reimpose COVID-19 curbs amid a renewed spike in infections caused by the Omicron variant, 